All right, welcome to a new episode of Saber Gaming Subnautica, A Guide to Survive. This week, I want to head over to uh, the island to pick up more uh, building schematics. Uh, what I was doing again was uh, going around picking up resources and the computer gave me a message that there was bacteria in the water. So what I'm going to do is just give myself a self-scan here. Self-scan complete. Foreign bacteria counters reached statistically significant levels. No adverse effects detected. Be vigilant for symptoms. Okay, so what happens is in the game, uh, the planet is under quarantine. And that reason is because there's a, a bacteria or a virus called the Kara, and it has infected us. And it causes uh, the warpers, when I see one uh, nearby, I'll show them to you, to uh, attack us. So the goal is to get ourselves cured. Uh, it's all part of the storyline. So for now, what I want to do is uh, create our um, laser cutter and we need some titanium and we need what else did we need diamond okay uh, we should have some of that right here perfect all right. We need the laser cutter to cut through certain doors. Very handy to get through some wrecks. Okay, we're gonna drink some water. We'll cook up our fish. Ready. All right. We'll just heat that up. Perfect. All right. Sea moth is fully charged. All systems online. So what we want to do. Because there's two islands. Oh, yes, I want to check that radio message too before we uh, carry on. Uh, grab that. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, so if we look on uh, the location that we're actually heading at is this in this direction. The island is uh, over this way here, which is easy enough to find. And I'll show you how to get there. I don't know why I keep jumping into my ship and it's the graphics are messed up. All right. So what you want to do is see that big cloud over here? There's two islands. There's one this way to the front of the uh, Aurora and there's one to the back. We want to head to the one that's behind it. I'll keep bobbing out of the water. Okay, so you want to head towards the big cloud. I can see it. There we go. Straight this way. Don't want to go too deep. Now, if you keep on a direct path 
which is uh, northeast to north, right in the middle. Just keep popping up once in a while and make sure you're still on the correct path. And we're going to go through a couple of biomes here. And now we're going to go... Ah, I went the wrong way. <laughs> Okay, that was uh, weird. Usually at the back of the Aurora is the other island. This is dangerous, guys. Um, there are Reapers not far off in the distance here. Detecting massive energy signature in the region. But it's okay. Um, yeah, that was weird. That's okay. Uh, here is part of the storyline here. Okay. We can get off here. Just gotta be careful, because there's a Reaper just over there. Oh, hey! So this is the quarantine gun, which will be coming here. Uh, the story will guide us here at some point. You can come here uh, if you want some diamonds and some lithium. There's a cave system in the back. You want to pick up your purple tablets here. These are keys to allow you to enter the structures. Make sure you scan this one. There's some hidden a little bit everywhere. You pick it up. And if you follow the path back here, yeah, I could have sworn I went to the back, but I guess I got turned around and came here. But it's okay. There's... It can be very uh, disorienting. Like I said, I haven't played in a while, so it's... Turn on your light. You gotta watch these little crabs. They can really uh, injure you in a hurry. Some lithium. I'm not gonna go too far here because uh, I don't want to die. Oh. Take your knife. I'd rather come in here with my uh, repulsor cannon, but I don't seem to have one at the moment. <laughs> and uh, these caves are, uh, if you go lower down, there's a portal that leads you to another place which we could come and explore a little later I got turned around here So this is a good place to get lithium, diamonds, they're all over the walls. I uh, wonder if he's going to let me scan them. Yeah, they're called cave crawlers. So you can see the front of the aurora. Uh, full of reapers over here. We're close to the mountains. You don't want to go down here too often. Just yet.
and down on the shore here there's uh, usually a few little fragments that we can get. Just going to uh, deal with my friend here. You run. Hey. I just switch on the light. I don't want to go too far in the water here because uh, there's a warper usually right around here. And yes, I'm afraid of them. Very afraid. They make your skin crawl. Hey, there's no fragments. Usually there is. There might be one a little deeper in the water. Break these? No. Uh, this tree is a, a very handy uh, thing to have. You can replant it and it'll give you a good source of food and water, which I'm going to take a few chunks right now just to sustain me a little bit. Okay. Uh, on the other island, which we're going to be heading to very shortly, uh, there's a few uh, plants that we can gather that will allow us to sustain ourselves other than the fish and the water. Uh, there's nothing in this direction. We'll come and check out this quarantine platform after the actual storyline will bring us here. There's another broken tablet there you can scan. You actually need them to get into places. Go scan it now, that way we got it done and over with. Okay, and your tablet fits right here. which I'll all unlock later. So yeah, we got a little bit turned around, but at least you know that the island is here. And if you follow the cloud, there's no danger. Welcome okay. Aboard, Captain. Speaking of chunks. Ooh, a nuclear reactor. Yes. Okay, you can actually hear... Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear that on the cam, but uh, you can hear the Reaper screaming. <laughs> yeah. We're just going to stay away from that for now. Until the sea moth uh, gets most of its defenses, we don't want to hang around that. Okay, so here's a bone shark. These are not good for your ship. They have a tendency to wreck stuff. Uh, where's the reaper? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, one bone shark isn't bad when there's two or three. They can do a lot of damage to your ship. So we'll just head back to... Uh, our uh, life pod and then we'll head to the other island. It's a really cool place. It's floating. Got to actually come up through the bottom. I just want to make sure that uh, I stay away from the back of the Aurora because there's multiple Reapers. But see this island over here is camouflaged by the clouds as well. It's a dome shape. If you head straight for it, there's no issues.
And on this island, there's uh, lots of construction unlocks, like the multi-purpose room, uh, the observatory hatches, the uh, planters we need for indoor and outdoor uh, plants. We also harvest the uh, plants that we need to consume. And there's also a few PDA pads to help with the story. I'm just waiting to collect most of them so you can see instead of playing them individually so you can all hear them at once. All right, we're a little bit off course here, so we just... Yeah, we're getting too close. Nope, we're going this way. You know what? I think they may have uh, fixed this in the update. One sec. Uh, yeah, we want to go this way. Because the cloud was a lot more obvious the last time I played. <laughs> They changed a few things since the last time I uh, played the game. They're minor changes, but changes nonetheless. Okay, so there's a reef box. Completely harmless. It's pretty deep over here. And here it is. So what we want to do is dive under it. This is some pretty cool stuff. The island floats thanks to these things. Now, you'll want to go to the middle and surface right here. You can leave your Seamoth here. There's no danger. Nothing's gonna happen to it. And here's the rendezvous point that the uh, second officer was referring to. Energy signatures on the island's surface. Aurora survivors. Uh, rendezvous, here we go. We have to board the Aurora, repair the long range comms, make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command, it's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission from second officer Keen, two hours after last activity. Rendezvous was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ. Seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. We were intercepted by a Leviathan-class predator before we could reach the ship. Consider the CTO and I lost at sea. Be safe. Keen. Out. Okay, so uh, there's a coordinate for the life pod that we'll go get later on. Now I just want to get through this island as fast as possible show you around okay there's lots 
of stuff to scan on the on this island. There's about three or four things that you can eat. The flowers are not one of them. A lot of paths to follow and get lost. All right, we'll climb up this. What we want to do is head towards the top. There's three uh, Degassi bases that were constructed here. The bulbul tree, which we've already uh, run into. There's tons on the island here. A lot of this stuff could be decorative. And uh, the plants, if you're wondering if it's edible or not, will be indicated over here in the... Uh, if you go down the land, like the Ming plant, what we just scanned, uh, it lets you know if it's edible or not. Uh, so we want to head up there. I just got to find the proper path to get up there. Java cups. Jaffa cups, sorry. I call them Java. <laughs> uh, okay, we're going to go up here. And... Uh, Take a little climb. Hopefully it'll let us go up here. Oh, maybe not. Okay, we'll go around. I tried. You can also build a base on the surface if you like. Um, I have built some on the other island that we were just on. Uh, there are crabs on the island. Not all the way up here though, but lower, uh, see there's one here. And there's one across there. So we'll just go straight to this one first. Get to the goodies that are here. Okay, so bulkheads are good for uh, preventing leaks and they reinforce your base. Uh, if your uh, sections flood, you close the door and it contains the water in that part of the base. Spotlight, if you want to use that. Okay, so water, good. Make sure you grab all the data pads. Uh, this is a bulkhead that protects. You don't need to scan that though. It's already built. Uh, observation room, which we caught lower down. Here's your uh, indoor grow bed. So you can grow some plants inside your base. Uh, the lantern fruit is edible. You want to scan the tree. Bring a couple seeds with you because you can plant them indoors. You can also eat them. They're not that nutritious. They just get you out of a bind in case you're hungry. Drink some more water here. I'm going to have another one of these. All right. Uh, all kinds of stuff you can scan in here. But the most important is the grow bed. This, if you haven't gone to the... Uh, deep end of the uh, mushroom caves. I think that's it. Just want to make sure we caught everything here. Hey, so now you just uh, start walking down and across. We'll go to the top one, the other one, and then we'll go down to the middle one. This is just a quick trip through the islands. Uh, you know, once you've played once or twice, you uh, you learn to uh, be quick and just come for the essentials. You know, in your first time around, you'll want to scan everything and you'll want to know what everything does. And Was there anything in here? I don't remember. It's 
sometimes they hide data pads a little bit everywhere. I know there's one lower down, right in the middle of a path. It's a long way up. Um, in the actual game, these don't have much use, but I think if you're using certain mods, uh, you, they're required for certain uh, construction. So remember where they are. Okay. So we've scanned those. Composite pot, great for planting individual plants. Potato plants are good. These are the best. The uh, marble melons are great for water and food. Just make sure. There's different kind of pots and you find them in wrecks. And we'll go out here. We scan this chair already and we scan the desk. Integrating new PDA data. More of the story. Uh, can eat one of these. And uh, I'll drink another water. I'm going to save this one. So that one has food 11 and hydration 7, uh, food 12. And they start to go bad too, by the way. They rot really quick, but it doesn't prevent you from planting them. Okay, so it's already old. This one's rotten already. Uh, the nutritional value drops, but you can still plant them at that stage, even if they are rotten. Now we gotta work our way down. I jump, but you'll injure yourself. Try to get this done before it gets too dark. Uh, can I go down this way? No. You can also run if you hold the shift key. Okay, let's go down here. Uh, here in this location, there are a few crabs. Uh, there's some goodies. Oh. Yeah, see. I'm gonna switch to my knife. Because these things are nasty. See if we can avoid them. Okay, so, yeah. This one. Oh, ow. Bad crabs. Anybody else want a piece of me? No? Okay. Your exterior grow bed. Very important. There's another one here. Uh, if you want to pick up your melons, stay down. Uh, sometimes there's a crate here with a, uh, a stasis cannon in it. I can't see it at the moment, so it may have moved. I have a potato plant. Uh, we're gonna eat one of these. I'll grab this one. No, oh, maybe not. Okay. So you have more lanterns here. What you wanna go inside is get the goodies. Um, there's another tablet here. Tres important. If you didn't get the uh, planter wall, it's just decoration. Uh, you also have the multi-purpose room. If we haven't gone uh, deeper, okay. Um, there's a door here to get in. Where is it? I have to climb to the top. There's still a crab roaming around. I can hear it in the background. 
Nice. Oh, it's stuck in the wall. Okay. Uh, nothing down here. All right. What's this? Oh. Those are fantastic. That helps you swim a lot faster. Oh, there he is. We're going to... Uh... Yeah. Come on. Hey. Ooh, battery. Can't have too many of those. PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Another one here. Uh, the hatch we already scanned. Uh, I think we got everything here. Yeah, pretty sure. Uh, I just want to make sure. You don't want to forget anything. Okay, I think we got everything. Like I said, sometimes there's a crate here, sometimes there isn't. Uh, just want to make sure. Okay. I'm glad I found a battery because uh, my lamp is running low. You can see the percentage there down there. Okay. Now. I want to find a path and walk around because there is a PDA that leads to the second uh, Degassi base, which we already unlocked the location earlier when we went down to the other, but I think this one here, yeah, there it is there. Signal location okay. Integrating new PDA data. Now you can walk around the island, you can scan more stuff, but we've got all our consumables and uh, just an easy way to head back to your Seamoth, which is in the middle of the island here. I just jump off the edge and swim. <laughs> it's faster. Uh, assuming you can find your, uh, there it is. And that's that. Just get back in and uh, away you go. Welcome aboard, Captain. So directly down this way is the secondary habitat which we do need to go uh, visit shortly but what I want to do is start building my base in the grassy plains where I had mentioned last episode uh, and build the modification station so we can put uh, a few more depth modules in our seamoth to be able to get down there uh, there's crab squids there's warpers um, ghost leviathans which you really don't want to run into but Sometimes it happens. So we've unlocked quite a bit of stuff to help us with our construction. The main thing we needed was uh, the bulkheads, which really helps with the structural integrity of your base. Uh, we're going to build the foundations too, which also help. And... Uh, We'll be able to check out more wrecks and stuff. I also added a... Uh, I went back to the mushroom caves just to uh, collect more resources. I added a beacon to the entrance just to get out. Uh, if you don't have the map mod, uh, beacons are your only way to really navigate and find things. Uh, especially in the caves the entrances are hard to find so you will want to mark them when you go down them so just a straight line from the island okay so you're heading uh, north northeast to head back 
and southwest to get to the island. Now we had another radio message. That I want to go listen to. Which will progress us probably through the story. Now you don't need to worry about the uh, bacteria that's in your bloodstream. Uh, it doesn't get worse. Like there's no rush to get to it. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, they send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. Okay, so uh, this is uh, the part of the story that brings you to the quarantine uh, weapon. They're going to call us a couple of times and uh, take us to that island. Okay, so... Uh, we need rubber and uh, silicone and fins. Okay, so we have that. Again, these fins are great. They make you swim a lot faster. I just gotta figure out what I did with my rubber. Uh, there. I think it was two, eh? Okay, so now we got too much stuff. <laughs> it happens. Okay. We'll dump our tablets here for now and grab those. I believe they're here. See how I'm constantly looking for things and struggling to find them? I would have to label them better, but this is why I like to use the um, storage lockers, the mod. Uh, I drop everything in one locker and I set the others for plastics, metals, rubber, tablets, and it all sorts for me, so I know where they are right at, off the beginning. Uh, what else do we need? So... Oh, do we need the... Uh, the modification system for that? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm not going to be building those right away. Okay, so I will end the episode here because I got what we initially went for. And uh, next episode, we'll uh, start building our base. So this is Saber, and catch you next time.